We're back on Buckeye Football Weekly, and head coach Jim Tressel pulled out all the stops, bringing John Cooper, the former Buckeye coach, on the road to Austin as the Buckeyes got set, hitting the field at Memorial Stadium to take on the number two ranked Longhorns of Texas, a showdown to prove who is the best in the country. Ohio State came out firing. That's Ted Ginn Jr. on the receiving end of a big gainer, 46 yards on a second and seven play from the Buckeye 23 yard line. Good pickup and a good drive on the ground. Antonio Pittman, 12 yards for a first down on a second and 10 play. The Buckeyes in business, but defense dominates the first half of this game. Colt McCoy, nowhere to go. James Laurinaitis, what a big game out of him. The tackle for a loss of one. Big play here as the Bucks defense gets stingy at just the right time. Donald Washington scoops up the fumble. And off he goes, out to midfield. Ohio State in business when it looked like seven the other way. The Buckeyes ready to go and turn that turnover into points. Up top again, Troy Smith. Anthony Gonzalez pulls this one in for a 25-yard gain. And the Bucks on a second and 12 from the 14-yard line. Gonzalez with a catch and a touchdown. 7-0, Ohio State on top. And Bevo, for one, didn't like chewing on that. Second quarter action after the score stood, 7-zip after 1. And up top goes Colt McCoy, 30 yards complete to Selvin Young as he slips out of the backfield for a nice pickup. Then it's Young on the run. He's dropped for a loss. Loss of a yard on the play as the Buckeye defense converges. Best throw of the day for Colt McCoy. He got absolutely crushed in the backfield by Vernon Golston, but he completes the pass to Lima Swede, 14 yards complete. And the Longhorns were in business. That's Jamal Charles. No gain getting hit at the line. But up top goes McCoy into the corner of the end zone. The exact same spot. Anthony Gonzalez hauled his in. Billy Pittman with the catch. And we're tied at 7. An impressive 13-play drive that took 7 minutes off the clock and traveled 78 yards. Ohio State right back at it with Gonzalez, a popular target. 14 yards on the pickup. Ted Ginn Jr., number 7. Pickup of seven and a first down on a third down play. Some key timing here as the half is drawing to a close. This is a stellar catch from Anthony Gonzalez. Troy Smith laid it up, and he knows he's going to get walloped, and he was, but a great pickup of 23 yards. Next up on a first and 10 play with seconds left in the half. Up top, Troy Smith, Ted Ginn Jr., and just like that, it's a 14-7 halftime lead for the Buckeyes just when it looked like it would be deadlocked going to the break. The Bucks come out in the second half looking for some more opportunistic defense, and that is exactly how you might describe it. First off, Jamal Charles, pretty great effort. Seven yards on the pickup on a second and six, and he gets the first down. On first and ten from the 31, McCoy to pass. James Laurinaitis is wearing a white jersey, and he takes this one back on the return to set up the Buckeyes and another scoring effort here. Troy Smith, not many times you can have a drive with a negative play. Seven yards lost on this sack, but still points turned in for the Buckeyes. That's because Antonio Pittman rips off on third and 15, a 12-yard run. Doesn't get enough for the first down, but it absolutely puts the Buckeyes into field goal range and bring on Aaron Petrie for the second time of the night. Missed his first effort, looking for a 31-yard field goal, and that is good, and the Buckeyes have turned two turnovers into 10 points and take a 17-7 lead. Heading back to defense for the Buckeyes. Selvin Young on a second and six play. He's off for 17 yards. A big run as Texas would outgain Ohio State in total rushing yardage on the evening. Jamal Charles then takes the pitch. He's got nowhere to go. The Bucks have seen that option a couple times already this evening, and they take care of business there with a loss of one on the play. A key third and four for the Longhorns, and Selvin Young gets laid out. McCoy put a little air under that pass, and it's a loss of six as Young is stopped immediately, and the punt team comes out. Back on offense, Antonio Pittman. Pittman runs hard for a first down on a second down and eight play from the Buckeye 20. Third and nine. Brian Robiski just about hauls that in. That would have been a key first down grab on a third and nine situation. The Buckeyes, they hold a 17-7 lead after three quarters of play. Selvin Young, second and five for Texas. Eight yards. He picks up a first down. 
into the corner of the end zone on a first and ten play. How about that shot taken on Malcolm Jenkins? But Jenkins and Lima Swede, neither of them can come up with it. That's a big play as the pass falls incomplete because another one would do that. Selvin Young and the Longhorns self-destructing right in front of their very eyes. A 45-yard field goal attempt by Greg Johnson. Sails wide right. No points for their effort on that drive. Ohio State trying to churn out some clock. Time running out on the Longhorns, and the Bucks just keep picking up yardage. That's 12 yards complete to Ted Ginn Jr., plus a face mask penalty added on to that. Anthony Gonzalez on the receiving end of this Troy Smith pass, and he turns this into a nifty 20-yard gain. The Buckeyes working the clock in their favor, making one final decisive drive to put this one away. Antonio Pittman, he rips off a nice run, and Pittman trying to churn out 100 yards on this particular evening, 12 yards on the pickup there. Brian Robisky, pretty huge first down deep into Texas territory that sets up Antonio Pittman. And that's the ball game. Pittman struggles to get in. The officials, after a delayed reaction, give the delayed call. 24-7 Ohio State. Winners on the road, ending a 16-game home winning streak for the Longhorns. We're back with Coach Jim Tressel's reaction.